Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm sorry. Yep. I was dancing and right. Clyde, go right ahead. No, well, no, look, I mean, it. Yeah, there's a reason to dance. It's like Thursday <laughs> and tomorrow is Friday and it's a long weekend, except it's even longer yes. for you, right, Mona? That is correct. <laughs> Allie um, is going to come in for me and give me a four day weekend tomorrow. So that's going to be a fun show. It's always fun when it's father daughter day. Yeah. Oh, let me tell you what. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to talk to Allie in the program here in just a minute. Uh, just some ideas of some things to do. Of course, you know, Riverfest uh, would normally be happening this weekend. It's not going to be the normal weekend for that. Uh, but it is nevertheless Labor Day weekend, so we're all doing all kinds of holiday stuff. Uh, one of the things out there is a Derby bash uh, because the Kentucky Derby is running this weekend too. Uh, Newport Art Gallery uh, is going to be holding that bash. That uh, gallery is actually in a new space, 5,000 square feet uh, at the Newport uh, on the levee. So the bash is Saturday from uh, noon to 10. There'll be food, drinks, music, whole bunch of stuff available, and of course a giant LCD screen so that you can watch uh, the actual race itself. So, uh, Mona, lots of stuff to do this weekend. You got plans? Um, I do. I am still in the midst of cleaning out my basement. So, hey, oh, Aaron, boy. I'll see you Saturday. Right. <laughs> you really know what to do with a four-day weekend, don't you? <laughs> But I plan on doing some relaxing and I'm going to see some friends this weekend with a mask and six feet of distance. Sure, that's a good thing. Uh, you know, we were speaking <laughs> earlier about uh, art and as it turns out, art uh, this morning is our first topic. Even though art and entertainment events are on pause, one local Lachlan artist who is new to the scene is keeping that positive energy alive by opening a gallery off Mill Street. The colorful, eye-catching space is called Mason Maria, and Allie went to check it out. So, uh, so first off, the gallery is named in honor of my children. My son's name is Mason, my daughter's name is Maria, so it's Mason Maria Gallery in honor of them. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to be their father and I'm, I'm proud to be a part of a wonderful family. So this is my way of sort of giving, giving back and saying thank you to them. So the art gallery is essentially a collection of mostly the art that I've created over the last few years, but I'm also starting to feature some other local talent. Essentially, the gallery is meant to be a space that uh, generates a positive vibe for the community. I really want to uh, demonstrate to people that you can take it, you can take your dreams and your desires and your aspirations and you can really bring them to life at any time in your life, at any stage. Uh, I didn't start painting until just a couple years ago and I'm still learning and growing. I'm, I'm painting to, uh, to convey again what I feel inside and what I want people to really know about me. But also uh, I'm painting for others in that sense of, you know, my my responsibility to do well for a community. More importantly, I think art in any medium, whether it's uh, performance art, music, dance, you know, putting things on, on paper or, or melting it out of steel or clay, it's an infinite resource uh, or method of transferring people's thoughts and energy and communication, both for purpose and or for enjoyment. So uh, one thing to know about my art is that I really do strive to make it unique and, 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 uh, and colorful and happy. Uh, that's always the intent when I paint. And then about the gallery, it's really a place to come and uh, relax, enjoy. Again, it's meant to be a community social room as much as it is a gallery. So if you want to come and you want to play a hand of cards or you want to play some chess, I'm up for that. <laughs> if you want to come and read some poetry or if you're a singer-songwriter, um, it's really about creating a space for the community. They can come and, and have a good time. Huh. 
Wow, that looks good. So joining us now is Allie Marie, and she is just a great piece of art herself. So Allie, thanks for joining us. And um, tell us a, a little bit more about David's background. You know, he seems so talented and has some great ideas. Yeah, it's fascinating too. You know, what I love is he was wearing a suit, right? So a lot of the times you probably don't think of artists all buttoned up and dressed up like that. But he was telling me this story, which I thought was interesting. You know, when he was a kid, he always knew he loved art, but during his art classes, you know, he really struggled to stay in the lines and, and kind of keep up in, in that way. So yeah, art fell to the wayside, time goes on. You know, he was also in a in like a punk rock band, which is interesting. So if you saw that mask, uh, that was one of his costumes that he would wear on stage. Um, and then as you know, as he got older, he is now working in public administration in Evendale. So through that job and through that experience, he was connected to a fine arts exhibit and another artist who he found absolutely fascinating who paints what she sees and feels in her migraines um, and mm. then kind of started a mentorship with her. And that really re-sparked his love and his passion for for art and painting and that he says you know the the whole realism side of things that's not his his goal he is definitely more abstract but i love the the juxtaposition of his day-to-day -day of wearing you know a suit and tie and and being a part of public service but then throwing what's in his mind and how he feels on on a canvas and it's so colorful and so bright which you probably wouldn't expect by chatting with him and looking at him uh, well, Allie, right quick, did you have a favorite? I did, I did. So it was at the very beginning of the piece, and it was part of that series called Beautifully Abandoned, and it shows a Victorian, a couple of Victorian homes, and it's kind of a landscape, uh, and it has a lot of those earth tones, but then somehow he really does a great job of morphing, like, hot pinks and purples and bright colors in there, which I thought was cool. So that was my favorite, and I highly recommend checking him out on Facebook and knock on wood, you know, when, when everything subsides with the pandemic, that he'll be able to have more of those poetry readings and turn it into a social space. All right. Well, it looks like you had a great time in there <laughs> and thank you for curating that trip for us. You got it. All righty. The fight for our health has never been more critical. This global pandemic has not only disrupted routines, it has also forced a lot of Americans to question their current health and lifestyle choices. Derek Foster shares how we can all give our bodies a boost. Any nutrition expert could agree, lifestyle choices can play a key role in optimizing our immune system. A nutrient-dense diet is the best way to ensure that you're getting all the nutrients that you need to prevent disease. We have to consume foods that contain these critical micronutrients on a regular basis. And there's one superfood that has an abundance of nutrients in one compact package, and that's eggs. Eglin's Best Eggs are a richer source of a variety of micronutrients compared to ordinary eggs. Learn more at egglinsbest.com. I'm here at Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom with my friend, Tim Clanky. Tim, you know, tell us with all of the things that are going on in the world, how's the appliance business? Yeah, um, I mean, definitely a challenge right now at a lot of places. Um, you know, the good thing with Appliance Factory is we have stuff in stock, all right? We have a warehouse locally with over 4,000 appliances inside. It's over 100,000 square feet. So you look at someone that you know, maybe bought something from the big box stores, you know, they're low on stock if they have it at all. Come see us, give us a call. We're gonna be able to find out what you purchased, maybe find a solution. We'll probably even have it in stock, be able to deliver it out. And if you're concerned about safety, we're a specialty retailer, extremely small. So safety, when it comes to being inside one of our stores, it's kind of what we do. All right, so you know what? This is the question that a lot of people ask me. How do they keep their prices so low? Yeah, it's, it's a great concept. And what we do, we go to the manufacturers. We say, hey, you know, what closeouts do you have? Overstock buys, uncrated merchandise. We buy that at a reduced price, roll those true savings over to the consumer. It's all new, it's not refurbished, and it comes with full manufacturer warranty. If a box has a tear in it or is damaged, at the manufacturer they don't want to send that to a retailer or a customer for risk of having an issue to deal with so that's another way we're able to buy that and give that to the customer and save them more money 
All right, you're gonna talk about brands because I'm looking around here and I see Whirlpool and so many mm -hmm. others. Talk about the brands you offer. Yeah, so, you know, it's not just Whirlpool. We're gonna carry GE, we're gonna carry LG, we're gonna carry Samsung. We're gonna carry even brands like, you know, L, um, GE Monogram. We're gonna carry brands like Viking and a lot more high-end brands. So it's not just necessarily what you normally see at other retailers. If you see it online, there's probably a pretty good chance we could even order that as well. Wow, all right. Let's get to it. This is Labor Day. We love it. What are the specials? Well, coming out hot, 50 to 80% off right now um, on a lot of major appliances in our building. Uh, big focus on Whirlpool appliances right now. We've got a lot of them in stock. Uh, people know the Whirlpool brand. It's American made. And you know, if you want to put together a washer and dryer pair, if you want to put together a kitchen suite, you know, whatever you want to do, pretty good chance that we're probably going to have something in our warehouse to get into your home. All right, this is Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom. So tell us about mattresses. We'll go over there in a second because we got a lot of deals to talk about for Labor Day. All right, let's talk about <laughs> mattresses. Absolutely, we have some incredible deals right now for Labor Day. I mean, we're looking at this Split King right now, memory foam mattress. We're running it at $12.99 in the Split King. And we are going to throw in a free head and foot wireless remote adjustable base that also has LED lighting underneath. And when it comes to brands, we're gonna have Tempur-Pedic, we're gonna have Stearns & Foster, we're gonna have Sealy, we're gonna have Therapeutic, we have our house brand, King's Choice, so we can pretty much fit any consumer in the market for a mattress. And your ratings show that this is a great place to shop. It really is, and we take pride in those reviews. You know, we have as a company over 5,000 Google reviews. We're over a 4.5 rating, you know, 4.8 specifically at this location in Beachmont. I mean, we just really focus on that. We treat customers like family, and we want them to have a great experience shopping for an appliance or mattress. All right, so Tim, with all that we've gone through, all the specials, all the ratings, as if that wasn't enough, what are some other reasons people should shop at Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom? Sure, so you know we're gonna have tremendous finance options, up to 48 months no interest right now. We're gonna have arguably the best service around. As I mentioned, we're gonna treat you like family. We're gonna guarantee the best price versus any of the big box stores or any local competitors and mattresses. You know, So I just encourage everyone to come out. It's Labor Day, get out of the house, come see us and have a great experience and save some money. And for Cincy Lifestyle viewers, what do you got? That is correct. You're gonna get a free three-year major component warranty on any of your appliance purchases, and that's free, no charge for Cincy Lifestyle viewers. Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom, you can get these great deals at all three locations. So come on out while the prices are hot. Thank you, Mona. Coming up here on Cincy Lifestyle, it is theater in the open air. The Cincinnati Shakespeare Company is bringing theater to the people. We'll tell you where this idea came from and do you know the signs of a stroke? UC Health now has new innovative equipment and training to help save lives. We'll hear from a few of the doctors on the front lines of caring for stroke patients. All that and a whole lot more coming your way in just a few minutes. Welcome back, thank you for sticking with us. Shakespeare once said that all the world's a stage and the Cincinnati Shakespeare Company is taking that concept literally. When the pandemic shut down theaters, they had the theater go to the people. And here to tell us how that works is Brian Phillips with the Cincinnati Shakespeare Company. Brian, thanks so much for talking to us this morning. Oh, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, okay, so this is theater outdoors. You're taking performances to audiences outdoors. How'd you come up with this idea? Well, we've been operating our uh, free Shakespeare in the Park program for uh, about 15 years now, uh, and it's expanded over time from being a one month only uh, event to an all summer long event. But this year, of course, there were uh, new obstacles that we had to overcome when it came to uh, social distancing with the audience and the actors. So we have made sure that we've worked with uh, parks in the region to provide a socially distanced experience for the artists and the audience alike, uh, as well as creating a drive-in experience so that if you wanted to actually stay in your car during the performance, we were able to offer that as well. And the reaction from the audience, like, yes? 
Uh, it yes, it's been fantastic. So obviously there is a um, appetite, uh, almost uh, a starving for live entertainment and live theater. Uh, and even though we're not able yet to open our, our building uh, on the corner of 12th and Elm, it's been nice to be able to go to the parks and go to the communities and have people uh, uh, join us there. And so that's why it's important for you to make this available to folks. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it's lovely to be able to go out to so many different parts of the of the tri-state and of our region uh, and be able to, to provide free Shakespeare uh, for those communities. Uh, and, uh, you know, upcoming this, you know, Friday night, um, we do have a uh, another performance at the uh, the Museum Center, Cincinnati Museum Center, uh, which is going to have social distance uh, seating in the parking lot six feet uh, apart, uh, as well as a line of that can come in and listen to the show on your FM transistor. Uh, and then uh, also after that, we're going to be able to be in Washington Park where they've done a great job of uh, spacing out seating as well. Sure. So let's talk a little bit about what the performances uh, coming up are and where they'll be. So uh, in the Shakespeare in the Park, we have uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream uh, and Romeo and Juliet. Uh, as well as William Shakespeare's uh, Scottish play, which I can't say because I'm actually in the theater right now. Uh, but then uh, after that, those shows will also be made available for digital streaming. Uh, there's an audio recording as well. Uh, and then it is our hope to be able to reopen our space once we uh, come to certain agreements with uh, our performing unions here in the next few months uh, to be able to have a, uh, a season starting up during the holidays. Uh, but between now and then, we're going to be coming up with some Halloween offerings and some holiday offerings as well that will be digital uh, if we can't have you inside our, our building yet. Sounds like fun. Uh, last question right quick. Uh, how much will it cost? Does it cost to uh, uh, admission, that is? It's free Shakespeare in the Park. So if you're uh, if you're coming out to see us at Cincinnati Museum Center or Washington Park, it is absolutely free. Uh, just uh, bring a, a chair or something to eat, and, and we look forward to seeing you there. <laughs> okay, let's connect people with uh, Cincinnati Shakespeare Company so that they can get uh, more information. How do they connect with you? So you can uh, just look us up online, cincyshakes.com, uh, and you'll see all of the programs, including Free Shakespeare in the Park, that we have to offer, uh, and news about upcoming events as well. All right, Brian, thanks a lot for talking to us this morning. Best of luck. Thank you very much. A first in the region, UC Health's mobile stroke unit brings the innovative resources and technology of an intensive care unit to your door when a stroke happens. Today we want to hear from some of the doctors who are using this technology to save lives. Take a listen. The UC Health Mobile Stroke Unit is the first of its kind in Southwest Ohio. There's only 23 across the entire country. It really means bringing hospital level stroke care to the patient's curbside. Our stroke team has been involved with some of the seminal discoveries and advances in stroke. For example, we helped develop the first treatment for stroke, which is TPA. We also develop the tools by which we measure how big a stroke is and also FAST, which is how the public recognizes the stroke warning signs. So you want to look at the face, if there's any drooping of the face or twisting of the face, especially on one side. Then you look at the arm. Is there any weakness in the arm? And then the speech. Is the speech slurred? Is it hard to get words out? Those are the classical symptoms of stroke, but also things like sudden onset dizziness or just not feeling right might be a stroke too, and it's important to call 911 in those situations. The UC Health multidisciplinary team works together because we have different types of physicians with different skill sets. We have emergency physicians, we have neurologists, we have interventional physicians, all working together to make sure that we give the best care for patients at the right time. Our partnership with local EMS is critically important to what we do in the mobile stroke unit. The local EMS partners will be the first on the scene. They'll do an evaluation and talk to the patient and the family to give our mobile stroke unit team important information. They'll hand off care to us in the mobile stroke unit and then we'll take over from there. The equipment on the back of the mobile stroke unit includes everything that you would have in a paramedic ambulance. In addition to that, there's a CAT scanner that can help us make a diagnosis of stroke. We also have an iPad connection where in real time we're talking to a stroke physician from the UC Health Stroke Team. We can also treat stroke with clot busting medications and medications to reverse bleeding. That includes a, a blood product where we can actually do a blood transfusion of plasma. In order for us to safely give these medications,
conditions, we can actually test uh, certain blood tests in the back of the ambulance called point of care testing, where we can know that we can safely give these medications right then and there. Lastly, if there's any signs of swelling on the brain or if the blood pressure is too high, we can give medications to treat both of those conditions. What we have learned over the last 25, 30 years is that every second, every minute counts. The quicker we can get the artery open, the more likely the patient's going to have a better outcome. It's important to our community and to our patients to have a mobile stroke unit available because we can really bring the emergency department to the patient's curbside. We can get this CAT scan diagnosis, talk to our stroke team all right there, and even treat when minutes matter. For more information about UC Health's mobile stroke unit, you can go online to uchealth.com slash mobile stroke. Clyde. All right, Mona, thanks a lot. We'll be back with more Cincy Lifestyle on the other side of the break. Plus, Cincy Lifestyle has full episodes of the show up on YouTube. Find fun segments you've never seen before or watch your favorites again and again. So subscribe now on YouTube.com slash Cincy Lifestyle. See you in a few. And the rain is winding down as we take a look outside, wi winding down right now. Some isolated showers around the area, possibly this afternoon. Highs in the low 80s through the weekend, though. Wow. Let me just say it that way. Wow. <laughs> Sounds good, Clyde. Well, coming up tomorrow on Cincy Lifestyle, ice cream so good it'll have you saying, hello, honey. That's right. <laughs> It's a new and popular ice cream parlor that is serving up everything from vegan delights to freshly made blueberry ice cream, Clyde. Yes, it is, Mona. Thank and that's the show for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Make it a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching our video. Now, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. You can also check out full episodes of the show you've never seen before or watch your favorites again and again. And as always, be sure to make it a great day.